My name is Ivory, and I'm here with Scott and Trisha Blasdale, Seth Blasdale's parents, and we were just talking about some of the amazing improvements that he's made so far in program. He's 13 years old, and he's been in program at Brain Balance for about seven months now. So go ahead, guys. So before Seth was in Brain Balance, um, kind of the, the um, place he was at was um, he had been through some tough times and had um, suffered through depression, through anxiety, um, through some um, social issues, um, not getting along at school, being bullied, um, all that kind of thing. Um, school work was always a um, battle, <laughs> to say the least. Take- yeah. 10, 15 minutes would take three hours. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And so uh, he was suffering in school. Um, uh, he was diagnosed with ADHD yeah. and anxiety he, disorder. Yeah, his diagnosis mm-hmm. for ADHD was when he was 8, and now he's 13. Mm-hmm. Um, he was put on medicine, and, and we saw some improvement immediately with the medicine. And so um, we knew that that um, he was going to have a difficult time so mm-hmm. but we didn't realize how difficult it was mm-hmm. like he would shut down um, he wouldn't really bother other kids but he wouldn't do his work he would refuse to do work um, sometimes he'd blow up at his teacher because he wouldn't ask questions he wouldn't ask for help um, he still struggles with that some but we have seen improvements since brain balance um, so since coming here, like when he first started coming here, he had trouble coming in the door. Yeah. Um, many times coaches would have to come out and um, try to persuade him to come in. And sometimes they could and sometimes they couldn't. Sometimes we'd have to come day after day because he'd refuse. One day would come back the next day and he'd refuse. You know, and then eventually I got, you know, we'd get three in a week, but it may be... Um, three days in a row, you know, of not going in and then three days of being in or whatever. So. And he had a time where he wouldn't come back by himself. He'd have to come back with him. I mean, he wouldn't always participate when he was back here on everything. He would, like, pick and choose what he wanted to do. Um, but we just kept trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so some of the changes we've seen in him is... Um, Starting in, we started in July, and and uh, when it came around to the first sem- the first quarter of school, um, first time ever he had made the honor roll, mm-hmm. um, and uh, he was still on medication at that time, and so um, we kind of he he always got his schoolwork done at school, his homework, whatever. We he never brought home homework, has not brought home homework because. He gets it done at school now rather than bring it home. So he's able to concentrate like that enough to, to accomplish that at school. Um, he, uh, he was, we took him off medicine um, in November. And uh, since he's been taken off medicine, um, he had a little bit of time where he had some adjustment to it, a couple weeks. Um, that was a good time to take him off because it was in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, and by the time Christmas rolled around, he was kind of back into the swing of things. But the school, the schoolwork was of course shutting down for the holiday break, and so it was a good fit for him. And so um, went back to school in January and continued to progress in school, um, where we found. Um, um, well, we had a, he's on an IEP, and when we went to his first IEP meeting, it was the first meeting we had where it was all positive. It was <laughs> yeah, not no, negative. negative. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that never happened. Oh, yeah. my gosh. It's always, yeah, it had always been a dread going to IEP meetings yeah. up to that point. Wow. How, 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 how he was struggling in, in his classes, and, and what can we do to help him, and and he wasn't can, organized, yeah. and he wouldn't help himself. And, 
but that was part of his issues. You mm-hmm. know, they would make a big deal out of not having a pencil or something. But yeah. um, so, so he was taken off his his ADHD med in November. In January, he was taken off his anxiety medicine. His um, his uh, uh, nurse practitioner that he was that he's been seeing for his ADHD for the past three years, I guess. Mm-hmm. Is very behind what he's been going through, she and is very supportive. <laughs> Gosh! And so uh, um, yeah. she's very well aware, and 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 agrees with the progress. So yeah. um, everybody seems to be behind it. Yeah. Has he been perfect the whole time? Of course not. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a thirteen-year-old boy. So. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so, um, but every day seems like he makes another step forward. Another mm. step forward. Some of the little things we've noticed, like he used to never talk on the phone. He would never talk on the phone. Now, every once in a while, he'll call me on the phone just to see how I'm doing or say hi um, and let me know. At Christmas, for the first time, um, he'd usually hang up one ornament and he was done. He helped me put the tree together (laughs) and helped hang up over half of the ornaments on the tree. So he was really engaged more for the first time ever at Christmas. Um, so, and I attribute that to brain balance. So, um, yeah, n- another thing, another thing is that he had gotten to the point where, where, um, and we weren't sure why it was, but, um, he adopted, so, so we don't know a lot of, about bio- biology, prenatal stuff, and he seemed to be pulling away from us for, uh, the last couple of years before coming here. There seemed to be a disconnect between us where we weren't for sure if that was a biological thing or or could it be fetal alcohol syndrome or could it be, you know, a lot of questions on what it could be. And when we, since we've um, been able to take him off the medicine and put him through the program, he's back to what he was prior to being medicated. He's funny and outgoing. <laughs> like a class clown. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess with the, with the exception of that, it used to be whenever he would get upset at anything, he would shut down, he would get so angry, he would ball his hands and fists and just kind of go into like a, um, almost like a rage. Yeah, and breathe know. real hard and yeah. like and fast-paced breathing. We, yeah, don't, we, we don't haven't see seen that. that in a long yeah. time. Wow. Yeah. Um, he, one of the things we see, he might get mad and blow up, but he can walk away and come back and really um, get control of the situation yeah, and process that very quickly. Yeah. Wow. You know, five, ten minutes. Um, where before, many times it was like, okay, you just have to go sit on your bed. That's all you can do is sit on your bed um, until you can come out of this. Because it be hours. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so it's huge. Big difference. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's learning, like, he'll accept responsibility for some of his actions, um, where before nothing was ever his fault, nothing was ever his doing. Where now, at first, you know, we're all human and we deny it, but he'll come back and he'll come up and say, I'm sorry I did that. You know, so we, we see changes mm-hmm. there. Maturity. Yeah. Some of his, I think, maturity, but I also think brain balance has helped. Yeah that for yeah him to know that yeah and brain growth is maturity you know yeah, so, sure. yeah. We, we see a lot of changes there um yeah i i like that he wants to be around us he wants to spend family time instead mm-hmm. of withdrawing into his room alone a lot um, yeah, i guess i guess i have to say there was one day that he had homework yeah <laughs> it was 10 minutes with the homework that he got done in 10 minutes, 10 minutes that is yeah. awesome yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He finally said, yep, I'll do it now. When I first said, let's do homework, no, not now. And so I said, well, you got to have it done by this time. And in 10 minutes, he came out. He did it. He yeah. had no issues with it. Could do it on his own. That was the other thing with homework. We'd have to sit with him. Hmm. He couldn't even walk away, like, to cook or to do anything. One of us had to be with him. Wow. And so now he can do the process on his own. So, yeah. That's amazing. So, yeah. Yeah. He's just a... There's a lot of difference in him, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. and he he seems to, you know, his teacher even says he's helpful and he's kind to others and he initiates things on his own, which mm-hmm. we're glad to see the progress in him. Yeah, yeah. so awesome. 
And just the beginning, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of all the changes. Well, with yeah, his actually. goal, you know, he's, like I said, since he's been real little, his goal is to work with great white sharks. And we really worried, would he ever, we would want, even though I'm scared to death of him working with great white sharks, if that's really his desire, I want him to achieve that. Yeah. And we were like, there's no way with how he's doing in school, if he continues this way, he'll never reach that goal. Yeah. And so I'm now, we'll go to college yeah, now. we'll yeah. be able to see that he, he should be able to reach that goal. That is amazing. So, he's just, yeah. he's just that, a different kid. That was yeah. one, of the re- one of our main our main things that had us to make the decision to go ahead and and give brain balance yeah. a try it was that you know the expense is one thing but if it can change his life I mean it, it's just nothing I mean it's it's like how much would you pay for a semester of school yeah, yeah. that kind of college you know from yeah. the coast and, yeah. Yeah. you know and and it could be the difference between having these menial jobs you know when yeah. you're going from job to job to job where you can't keep a job because of the ADHD and all of that where you can be a successful at whatever you want to do whether yeah. it's a marine biologist or whatever you know yeah whatever just an open Jesus. future yeah. 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 yeah yeah that's awesome thank you guys so much sure thank, thank you, you. Yeah. <laughs>